Well, Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan is meeting the Turkish president Friday as part of his official two-day visit, his first since taking office in August. Both leaders are hoping to enhance existing ties between the countries. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Imran Khan are expected to discuss the Afghan peace process as well as further economic and trade relations. The Turkey-Pakistan free trade agreement has yet to be signed despite a decade of negotiations. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Rabala Moedin. She is a researcher at TRT World's Research Center. Thanks so much for coming in. Uh, Turkey and Pakistan have, I will say, have been on particularly strong footing, really, over the past mm -hmm. uh, few years in particular. Tell us quickly what's actually brought them closer and how and what will they be moving forward on today? Okay, thanks for having me. First of all, uh, I mean, we have to understand that uh, Turkey and Pakistan have had a very long-standing relationship. They've supported each other on very key issues, including Kashmir, Northern Cyprus, recently FETO. What's bringing them together now is that um, Turkey has become a lot more uh, uh, emphasized South-South cooperation. And the new government in Pakistan, led by Imran Khan, is actually a lot more outward-facing mm. uh, than the previous governments. I mean, uh, suddenly there's a lot more emphasis on foreign policy. And uh, I think that is what's bringing them together now, a lot more than previously. Um, another thing that what's, what they're going to focus on is probably increasing uh, cooperation in terms of trade, economy, defense, uh, counterterrorism efforts, um, mm. maybe even the Afghan peace process. So there's a lot going on that right. I think both countries can really, really focus on together. And their strategic partnership is, is very much key here. I mean, yesterday the Iraqi president visited Ankara mm -hmm. and they talked about cooperating on, in the fight against terror. Mm -hmm. How will that go with Pakistan and Turkey today? I mean, how will they cooperate in Afghanistan, which is a key center for the fight against mm -hmm. extremism and terrorism? I, I feel that I think they're, they're the dynamic duo here uh, because not only has, uh, I mean, Turkey has had really good relationships with both Afghanistan and Pakistan. Uh, what's important here to understand is like Turkey is going to be, is also part of NATO and has been on the ground in Afghanistan mm -hmm. since the operation began. So now uh, where do they take it from here? Uh, I think that here the dynamic duo can, you know, Turkey can actually influence NATO and make them accept an all-inclusive political settlement, whereas uh, Pakistan can influence the Taliban, so they can bring them both together and kind of take it from there. Okay. Another way which I feel that they can really help out in the Afghan peace process is through, I mean, Turkey has been practicing humanitarian diplomacy for a very long time now. And uh, what that means is that they're looking at foreign, at protecting uh, interests of vulnerable people mm. in, and really making that a priority in their foreign policy. And that can be used very, very well in Afghanistan. Okay. And they can both uh, kind of focus on peace building and uh, peacemaking and uh, rebuilding the whole country. Okay. Yeah. Quickly, the Turkey-Pakistan free trade agreement. Yes. Will it finally get signed? I, 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 I absolutely think it, the opportunity should not be missed. Mm. I mean, we're looking at, if it's operationalized well, we're looking at almost $5 billion every in annual bilateral trade. We're looking at, um, because most of the 40% of uh, the exports of both countries are from in similar mm -hmm. industries, so what, you know, they can really use their, their, the trust that they have and the mutual relationship that they have to actually build upon that and be, cooperate in joint efforts and uh, uh, horizontal, vertical integ integrations mm. and really benefit from adding, uh, creating more value-added products, creating efficiency, improving profits, uh, and also uh, decreasing prices for consumers okay. in both Turkey and Pakistan. It's win-win, you're saying. It's absolutely win-win. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there.